Hello dear students, uh, today is uh, April the 8th and I'm glad to be presenting this lesson from Baltimore in the U.S. I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to present this lesson uh, to you. Last week we looked at how we can use ICT for the title. This week we shall be going on to do practicals, the practical part of the work and that will be using Google Scholar. Google Scholar as a tool for deriving the title. It's going to be practical and you are going to enjoy it all the way. Thank you. Oh yes, thank you and uh, welcome back to class. Uh, the objectives of this lesson, as we said, uh, will be to introduce Google Scholar and then to identify the steps in the use of Google Scholar as guide for deriving a doctoral thesis, and then to review the titles of the doctoral thesis that is submitted. Uh, I'm happy to note that the virtual class of Saturday, April 6, many of you uh, indicated uh, using Google Scholar. Uh, this is group one. This is the uh, class, virtual life class for group one. Many of you indicated using Google Scholar. As we said, this is going to be practical, practical lesson. So objective number one is to introduce Google Scholar. Uh, Google Scholar was developed by Alex Verstack and Anurag Acharya. Uh, the beta version of it was released in 2004. So what is Google Scholar? Google Scholar is freely available, freely accessible web search engine uh, that indexes the full text or metadata of scholarly literature across all array of publishing formats and disciplines. Uh, what does it index? It indexes peer-reviewed online academic journals, meaning that the journal or the document has to be online for it to be reviewed books, conference papers, theses, dissertations, and all of these, including court opinions and patents. Uh, as of January 2018, uh, there were over 389 million documents that you can find in Google, that Google Scholar can trace. Now we go to our objective number two, that is the steps, the steps in the use of Google Scholar to guide the derivation of the title of your doctoral thesis. My very dear students, there are seven steps. How many steps? Yes, you are right, seven. Uh, the first thing, of course, is to launch, launch Google Scholar. That is the tool. And then you go on to search for the scholarly works of your supervisor. Uh, please note that in our last lesson, lesson two, we said it is best for you to focus in the area where your supervisor is currently working. So you have to use Google Scholar to search for the work of your supervisor. And then when you have searched for the works, you download them into your hard drive or local drive. And after that, Offline, you read through the articles and note the recommendations in the articles. Then from there, you derive your titles. And after that, you then brainstorm on the tentative topic with your supervisor. And then final step, step seven, is to produce the first draft of your title. I did say that this lesson is going to be practical. So let us go on to step one, launching Google Scholar. To launch Google Scholar, you've got to search for it. Uh, so you may launch Google or any other search uh, engine. So we're going to type Google Scholar here. And we'll search for it. So Google Scholar, where are you? Yeah, you can see, okay, fine, Google Scholar. Yeah, so you see, this is Google Scholar. 
uh, all you need to do is to launch it. Let's launch Google Scholar. Uh, so that's it. That's Google Scholar. That is step one. If you like, you can save this under your favorite so that next time you will be easy to locate. So step one is gone. Yeah, so let's go on to step two. Step two is for us to search for the scholarly works of your supervisor using that tool, Google Scholar. So let's do a practice of this. Yeah, so these are the proposed topics for your doctoral studies that you submitted when you filled from C. I will come back to this in a minute, but I will uh, take, let me take uh, one of the uh, one of the titles, proposed titles by Alexis Bashonga. Let me make this bigger. Okay. Alexis Bashonga Bishobi, Bishobi Biri. Uh, ecology, conservation, and management of wetland birds of Uzizi Delta, northern end of Lake Tanganyika. Okay, the supervisor is, proposed supervisor is Professor Eric Sandy. So, we are now going to Google Scholar to search for the work of Professor Eric Sandy. And from there, move on to the next step. Yeah, so we we'll type Eric Sandy here. Eric Sandy. And then we have all of this, this identification with gene encoding and, and that. Uh, there are a few things we need to note with, uh, let me make this bigger, with regard to, yes, Google Scholar. It shows you the results. There are 10,800 results that it has given, that has been able to come up with 10,800 results. Now, uh, it is sorting by relevance, sorting by date, since 2009, since custom range, and it gives you uh, wh whether it's HTML or PDF and where it, is, where it is located. Now, this is E. Sandy. We don't know whether it's Eric Sandy. This is under E. Sandy, obesity, ob obesity resistance, and multiple mechanism of, mechanisms of triglyceride synthesis in mice. Now, this is not like the Eric Sandy we are looking for. This is just E. Sandy. So the best thing to do is uh, to put the uh, special area, discipline of your supervisor. You can see specialization of proposed supervisor. This uh, Eric, Eric Sandy, Professor Eric Sandy is an ornithologist. ornithologist. So let's copy this. And then I'll take it to Google Scholar. And uh, we will... Just a minute now. Uh, we will now do a, a search, put on ethologies there. And then that's it. So it will give us... Eric Sande, E. Sande, this is uh, evolutionary African galliform. So this is the same Eric Sande we are looking for. So the best thing that I think you will do is to search for the most recent, most recent uh, articles by Eric Sande. You will find the dates of the publications here. This is 2012. This is recent enough. This is 2000. This is about 19 years ago. This is 2011. This is not too bad. Uh, this is 2009. Uh, this is 2012. This is uh, what? Yeah, this is this is citation by somebody else. So what we then need to do is this: we take this to 2012. And then you come to the right here. You will find that if you right click on this, you open this link in a new tab. It's bringing it up here. So we now have the article 
by Professor Eric Sande. You can see it is downloading. Yes. So it's the International Journal of Avian Science. So it is about birds and ornithologists. Phylogenetic affinities, and you can see all of them here. Uh, this is Eric Sande. You can see Eric Sande is here. Eric Sande is there. So this one, you now have to save to your hard drive. To save, there are several methods. I've just right-clicked on this. You can say save as. And then you go on to, uh, let's see, you can create, I have something in Vesta of Burundi here. And uh, the 2019 course, uh, lessons, this lesson three. I can then create um, a, a folder which I will call titles or, or research by supervisor. Yeah, that's it. So you then save this one. So it is saved. We can come back to it later. Yeah, so let's continue with our search of the work of uh, Eric Sande. Uh, this is on the story bird species diversity by Eric Sande. What I want you to note, dear students, is that you will only be selecting the Eric Sande work, the work of your supervisor. Uh, if you look at this one, uh, it's Eric Sande and the others, 2012. This is Eric Sande in Austria, 2000. Uh, if you look at this one, this is not by Eric Sande, although Eric Sande is mentioned here, uh, is just giving, C. Cohen is the author, just giving some uh, recognition to Eric Sande. Eric Sande, this is not Eric Sande, this is M. Ellison, uh, this is not Eric Sande. If you can see here, we are indebted to Derek this Eric Sande. So anywhere Eric Sande is mentioned, it's highlighted, but this is not the work of Eric Sande. But we'll get to how you can download some other of these materials that can help you in deriving your titles. So this is not Eric Sande. This is uh, uh, S. Leon. Uh, so let's get back to the second Eric Sande, which is uh, 18 years ago. So we right-click like we did the last one. You open a new tab, it's coming up here like this, and then you have Eric Sande on the story, bird species diversity and abundance in three forest types of Semuluki National Park, Uganda, Eric Sande. So all we have here is the abstract. It doesn't really, really, really matter for now. So what do we do? We save. So we we'll go to the same place, research by supervisor, we save that. So that has been saved. And then you go on and on and on until you're able to take all the uh, Eric Sandy works here. You can go to two, you, to three, to four. This is just acknowledging Eric Sandy. This is not by Eric Sandy. This is by Jay Wickling, 2004. But you can see download some of these because it will also help you in shaping your title. This is by TB of Africa and all of that. So we are now through with this step, which is to search for the scholarly works of our supervisor using Google Scholar. Then step three is what I just did, download and save the relevant studies on your local drive. We are going on to step four. Step four is read through the articles and note their recommendations. So let us go back and do the practical work, part of this. Yeah, so this is where I saved it, lesson three. Research by supervisor. And then let's take this one, phylogenetic affinities of evolutionary. Yeah, so this. So you have to read this thing very carefully. Uh, the work, the, this study. Read it very carefully and then 
you will come to results that you come to let's go on to the recommendations taxonomic recommendations you don't have to read these recommendations on the basis of this you know you have some recommendations here and then you note the recommendations let's take the second one this is this the one we just saw bird species yeah coming on yeah so that's it so you then read through this or oh, this is an abstract but it can give you it can give you some bleeding uh, so reach the best species and all that there was no significant difference in the species diversity between the swamp let me make this bigger Uh, there was no significant difference in this. The little green bow, yellow, all that uh, uh, were significantly more abundant in the cyanometra than in the swamp forest type. So you, you note that it didn't. Uh, uh, Professor Eric uh, did not have a significant difference. Sandy did not have that significant difference. So, but, but there may be even now, eighteen years thereafter. So that could be an area that you may wish. Uh, to further study so that's step four step five is for what you should watch out for when reading through the studies now what are the unanswered questions which can form the title of your thesis now do you want to repeat the study yes you may wish to repeat this study or break new grounds then you should know the way the titles are framed so that in your own title you can customize it to be that. Step four is now to derive the titles from the recommendations. And step six, to brainstorm on the tentative topic with your supervisor and other colleagues. Let, let me take on step four very quickly. So since uh, uh, this was studied by Professor uh, Eric Sande and the others in 2012. This is more recent than the 2000. Uh, this is a 2012. 2012. So it's looking at phylogenetic affinities of evolutionarily enigmatic African galliforms. And it gives a stone pottery. So in your own case, you may wish to then propose this and take your own. Uh, species of birds. So I'm just going to copy this now and uh, paste here to say phylogenetic affinities of evolutionarily enigmatic African galliforms. And then the doctoral student from the University of Burundi can then pick his own species that uh, you will want to uh, look at the affinity. Yeah, in other words, if you look at this now, uh, we uh, looking at Alexis, Alexis Bashunga. So Alex, ba Alexis Bashunga will now give. I'm copying this again, and I'm taking it to this. So uh, say Alexis Bashunga uh, to select any two uh, galliforms. So you can just select yours here uh, for the purpose of your title. So any two uh, African galliforms, you can just select any two uh, for this exercise for a doctoral study. Uh, as you can see from here, uh, they have the stone partridge, Tylopacus, Petrosus, and Nehans Franklin. Uh, so you can select your own from there. Okay, what about the second title? How do we get it? Uh, it's quite easy too, so let's see how it goes. We're going to derive this from the second paper on the story, bird species, diversity, uh, forest in Uganda. So I'm going to copy this. Copy this. You see, if you noticed, he did not find any significant difference. So maybe if you... if uh, the uh, will go to Alexis. Will go to another. Let's see now. Uh, parks in Uganda. In three forest, he looked at three forest types of Semuluki National Park. If he goes to another national park, 
in Uganda, maybe you will find a significant difference. Or maybe also, this is published in 2019 years ago. So it's possible that it can, this study can be repeated and maybe he will find uh, a significant difference. So the tit second title will be like this. On the story bird species diversity and abundance in uh, three forest parks in uh, maybe this other national park. Or you, so this is going to change. And uh, bird diversity and abundance in maybe you say two forest types or more or more. So this will be title one, title two that you're going to give to your uh, supervisor. And if he sees it, you'll be so excited that this is the area that he has been working on. Yeah, so we have derived your titles. You brainstorm with your supervisor and then you produce the first draft of your title. So what have we learned so far? We have introduced Google Scholar and uh, you just do that by Googling Google Scholar and launch it. And we identify the steps in the use of Google Scholar to guide the title of a doctoral thesis. Now, let us take a quick scan. That's our objective number uh, four, the last objective, quick scan of the proposed titles that uh, you submitted when you filled from, from C. Yeah, so these are the titles and the names of the supervisors. I'm quite impressed with this. As I scroll along, you need to see uh, your proposed title. These are very good, very good uh, titles. Quite impressed with them. Quite impressed with them. But what I think you need to do is to apply the method that we learned in this lesson. If your supervisor has agreed with uh, what you have, fine. If not, you just go and take uh, a cue from what we have done. Look at Micheline Sabiteka, uh, Professor Shabani. She is looking at uh, uh, MOOCs and all that. So we need to check uh, Professor Shabani and Mose Ted about uh, their research interest. That will make it very, very simple, very easy. Uh, for you. So before we end this uh, part of our work on how we use ICT for getting the titles of our doctoral thesis, let us see two case studies, two case studies, one from Burundi and one from Nigeria, by Professor Juma Shabani and Dr. Joshua Atta, respectively. Professor Juma Shabani, what do you say? And Dr. Joshua Atta, what uh, your experiences. I am Professor Juma Shaban. I am the director of the doctoral school of the University of Burundi. I should like to share with you how I, was se I selected the title of my thesis. I did my thesis in uh, mathematics in the area where my supervisor was doing his own research. And uh, uh, for selection of the title, he just suggested me to solve one of the open problems that he was facing. And this is how we selected the thesis. Wonderful. Thank you so very much, uh, Professor Shabani. By the way, uh, your thesis, your doctoral thesis, has been one of the best in the world. So congratulations, <laughs> <laughs> Juma. <laughs> this is very, very good. Okay, thank you very much, Juma. Okay, then. Hello, good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Joshua Acha. Uh, I studied at the University of Kent. Uh, and I'd like to talk briefly about uh, the journey towards my PhD thesis. Good. Uh, this journey actually started from uh, the very beginning, even before I enrolled into the program. Uh, what I did was to first look up the research interest uh, of various professors teaching in the universities that I wanted to study. Good. And on the basis of that, I got some guidance and developed my uh, PhD proposal. Uh, within the first uh, few months, I developed 
what we call a, a, a research plan okay. or a project plan. And um, in the course of time, uh, I started working on uh, a number of conference papers uh, and journal papers. And um, uh, over time, I uh, sifted through all the work that I have done so far and uh, made a short list of uh, possible uh, this is tied to based on the work that I have done over time. Uh, these I discussed uh, with my supervisor and then zeroed, uh, zeroed in on the topic that I eventually worked on. Thank what, you. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Josh. Uh, you will not want to agree, but I'm telling you that your thesis is one of the top, top five star in ICT. Uh, you are looking at biometric issues, and uh, after you, your thesis, uh, the development in the area now went on quite uh, rapidly. I want to congratulate you, Dr. Joshua Ta, who is the head, he is the number one ICT mind in the whole of Africa for the regulators. Because, no, the, the logic is very straightforward. Because you are the head of ICT in the National Investors Commission. And the National Investors Commission is the most expansive in terms of the universities that it regulates. So, Josh, you are number one. So, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. My pleasure. Oh, interesting. Thank you so much, Professor Shabani, and thank you, Dr. Joshua Atta. So, what is the outlook for the rest of this week? Uh, today, April 8th, we're having Lesson 3. That's the one now. It's going to be available all day tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we have a discussion forum. And then Thursday is free. And on Friday, we have a weekly quiz. And then on Saturday, we're going to have a repeat of the virtual class we had on last Saturday. Uh, this is because some of you had a few challenges with the technology, uh, but I'm sure that by now you will have uh, overcome those challenges. So we're going to repeat the virtual class. You're going to be getting instructions uh, along that way. And uh, group one will come on and the dates on the times that are shown here, and the group two. And group three, for next week, we are going to have a new topic, nice topic. How we use ICT in the development of a doctoral research proposal. Until next week, dear students, uh, it is bye-bye from me, Peter Okebukola, your facilitator.